Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. This is um, question number nine from the Pure Mathematics P2 International A Level at Excel October 2021 exam. <coughs> this question here is about proofs. It says prove that for all positive values of x and y, x plus y over 2 is greater than or equal to the square root of xy. All right, so for this question, there's a few different um, methods we could use. What I would do here is I would, you know, basically, if this is true, if x plus y over 2 is greater than or equal to the square root of xy, to prove this is true, what follows on from this is that x plus y is greater than or equal to 2 times the square root of xy. Uh, if x and y are both positive, <coughs> then of course this side will be positive and that side will be positive. Therefore, squaring both sides would be perfectly fine. So if I square both sides of this inequality, it's perfectly fine. You, If you square both sides of inequality and you're not sure whether one side is positive or negative, then that can be a problem. So for example, we know that 3 is greater than negative 2, for example. If we square both sides, okay, um, <coughs> sorry, let me think of a better example. I know that negative 2 is greater than negative 3. Now, if I square both sides of this inequality, this will give me 4, and this will give me 9. Now, 4 is not greater than 9. So when one side of the inequality is negative or something like that, then squaring the inequality does not always lead to a true statement. But if you know that both sides are positive, then the inequality sign will not be affected by that. So over here, we can square both sides because for all positive values x and y, no problem. This, both sides will be positive. So if I square this side, I'm going to get x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. And on this side, I'm going to get 2, 4 times xy. And then if I um, bring everything, everything to one side, I have 2xy minus 4xy, which is minus 2xy plus y squared equals 0. Now, this is a perfect square. I can write this as a factorized form of x minus y all squared. So greater than or equal to 0. Okay, greater than or equal to 0. Now, I know that this is true for all values of x and y. This is true for all x and y. Because if you have anything in here and you square it, whether x is smaller or bigger than y, you're going to be negative. For example, if x is bigger than y or smaller than y, you'll end up with a negative value altogether. But you're going to square it. So this will always be greater than or equal to 0. If x and y are the same, then it will equal 0. If x and y are not the same, <coughs> whether you end up with a negative number in this bracket or a positive number, you're going to square it. This is true for all values of x and y. So therefore, okay, we can say as what we, what we ended with is true, okay, therefore what we started with must be also true. Therefore x plus y is greater than or equal to 2 times root xy. All right, this statement must be there for you to get the full marks. You must mention a conclusion to your statement. <coughs> okay, it's very important to have that statement there. There's other ways of doing this as well, um, but I personally think this is like the, the most logical, easy way to do it. So it doesn't take much to do this. Just rearrange it into a form where you've proved that this is definitely true for all values x and y. So we followed a step, logical steps all the way through. Okay, everything follows on from what's before it. And therefore, if, if this follows on from that, and that follows on from that, and so on, then this must be true. Okay, this is definitely true. We know that for sure. Therefore, the original statement must also be true. <clears throat> okay, so that's 9a. For 9b, it says, prove by counterexample that this inequality does not hold when x and y are both negative. So you got to show just one example when x and y are both negative that this um, doesn't work. So all we do is, for example, let's choose a value of x, say, negative 9 and, say, negative 4. I just chose random negative for y values, negative 4. Random values for x and y. So if I put inside, I'll say, the left-hand side of the, of the inequality, it's going to say negative 9 minus 4 over 2 
which gives you negative 6.5. And the right-hand side of the inequality is the square root of negative 9 times negative 4, which is the square root of 36, which is 6. And negative 6.5 is not greater than 6. Therefore, okay, we can say that x plus y over 2 is greater than xy, okay, is not true, <coughs> is not true when x and y are negative. So you should make a statement like that. And we've sh shown that by one counter example. You have to show one example that proves it to be false. And we did. We chose the value of x and y, which proves the inequality to be false. And that's the end of this question. Very simple, four, four marks. Uh, nothing to be afraid of, really. A lot of students are afraid of this topic because it's new. But it's pretty um, simple. Okay, so there's the answer to question 9, part A. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area here. Other questions from the topic of proofs of P2. Proof um, by counterexample and proof by deduction can be found in this playlist that should appear over here somewhere. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.